absolutely love the show. It was my first time here at the Cultural Center and I think the artwork is phenomenal. The holograms over on the side are like really these. charming and we definitely want to buy one of the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Korean Cultural Center, Washington, D.C. presents Pop of Color, exploring the vibrant intersection of pop art and Korean tradition with works by artists Kyungju Park and Kwang Yun Song as the July 2016 K-Art Gallery exhibition. Nearly 150 visitors crowded the Korean Cultural Center to attend the opening reception on July 8th and meet Kwang Yun Song in person. Park's series, Fantastic Play, expresses the complexity of human beings who she sees as filled with different personalities. It captures the precious side that we often want to reveal and the immature, superficial nature we keep hidden. These works borrow key images from modern pop culture, reinterpreted as the fragmented desires of modern society. Let's hear from Kwang Yun Song in her own words about her series, Butterfly's Dream. We have a little bit of 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 a little 그 리튼 수단 작품이나 인도울 작품은 판화로 됐잖아요. 대량 제작이 되잖아요. 근데 이 나비가 줄을 하나하나 놓는 거는 하나하나 정성이 들어가잖아요. 완전 반대죠. 의미고. 그래서 제가 그걸 부각시키기 위해서 이 배경을 넣었어요. 나의 꿈이기도 하지만은 나비의 꿈이 우리 현대인들의 저뿐만 아니고 현대인들의 꿈이 됐으면 더 그게 더 바랄 게 없다는 건 거거든요. I really like the juxtaposition with the material themselves and Within that, it looks like thread, but it's actually paint. And I feel like the way that it plays on each other with the background and then pops out and the colors, it's just beautiful. Especially how the artist explains it of playing on the materialism and greed in today's society versus traditional values. I think that's a really nuanced view that you don't see as much. And it, it speaks to me a lot as I think an outsider in Korean society and as an ability to really understand um, her perspective going on. You can experience Pop of Color and get a glimpse of contemporary Korean arts now through August 1st at the Korean Cultural Center, Washington, D.C.